But here we are in the US of A. We're at the uh, 2016 Husqvarna launch for their motocross models, uh, basically for the two two-stroke models and then the, the three four-stroke models. Interesting, this is the first time actually that Husqvarna has ever actually staged a world launch in the United States. The significance really is that they wanted to make a point that really Husqvarna played a huge role, formative role I guess, in, in the uh, early days of motocross of, uh, in this country. So, what have we got here? Well, as I said, we've got a couple of two-strokes, a couple of four-strokes, completely new generation bikes. They look different, they're completely different from the ground up. Um, obviously, you know, I suppose there's a lot of sceptics out there who are going to say that they're white KDMs, and it's true. It's true to the extent that the engines, both for the two-strokes two and four-strokes this year, get all the same upgrades as what, uh, as what the 2016 KDMs did, which were launched a couple of months ago. It's also true that the frame modifications, the linkage, the shock, etc., they, they mirror those sort of upgrades as well. Also, you know, which makes a lot of sense, the, the, the central thrust, I suppose, the philosophy of the bikes is basically to reduce weight, to make them more nimble, more power, and comfort. Comfort's something that keeps coming up a lot, which is why we're seeing big changes to the, uh, big changes to the bodywork, rubber-mounted bars, etc. But let's focus a little bit on the differences. I mean, I guess essentially bodywork. The most obvious thing is the bodywork. Completely different bodywork, and that does make the bike a lot different. Starting from the front guard, through the hand guards, through the shrouds, through the, through the rear guard. Under the rear guard, a completely new uh, composite carbon subframe, which is about a, a kilo lighter. The 450 that we're looking at here, for instance, is just over five kilos lighter. Now, on a bike that's not not much more than 100 kilos, five kilos are really significant uh, significant change. We've also got big changes: tank, seat. It's actually, I guess it's sort of fair to say they're subtle, but it, it, it does give the bike, of all the bikes, a very different character from the KTMs. We're here in Maryland at Bud's Creek, the famous Bud's Creek. I mean, an awesome place, and as you can see behind me, the guys are still going around. It's just a, a fantastic track, beautifully prepared, and I think a really significant landmark in a lot of ways, really, for these new Husqvarna's to be launched here in America. So uh, we've got a detailed feature coming up in the September-October issue of the magazine, which comes out in early September, about the bikes, about the two strokes, four strokes, a lot more detail about uh, the componentry differences from the KDM and differences from uh, these 2016 model predecessors.